I want to run you through what it actually takes to even get a scholarship. Someone will even argue that learn and learn and learn, you complete school, you can't even sit in the house. Yeah, I know. I was going through my email and then I realized that um, there've been some email about several scholarships to travel outside. And so I started reading through the emails. The emails were for masters and then I saw one undergraduates in. So I decided to click on it. And when I click on it, um, it was talking about a scholarship, like a collaboration between um, Tokyo University of Foreign Students Exchange and also University of Ghana. I decided to begin with the process. Here we are today, but I want to run you through what it actually takes to even get a scholarship. So if you haven't seen my previous video, I spoke about the things you have to do, some of the things you have to do, being a good student and also doing other things. Go and check it out. I'll leave the link in my description box. So guys, it's all about having a plan, okay? So someone will be like, okay, You've spoken about always learning, you've spoken about um, planning your life as a student, but what am I really getting from it? Someone will even argue that when you learn, you complete school, you can't even sit in the house. Yeah, I know, but it's not always the case. There are times that opportunities may come, then you as the individual to you are not ready, then what are you really looking for? I put in so much efforts in my academics as an university student and as a result of the hard work i mean when i saw the scholarship i knew that i'll be able to you know apply for it because they have requirements and um, you have to have a gpa over 3.0 and all all that so I, I realized that I could actually be able to get that GPA. I had everything that the scholarship requires. So let's imagine that you are an university student and there is something like this. There is a scholarship opportunity for you and you are not ready because, because of one or, or two reasons. I mean, we all have our individual reasons why we cannot really focus on academics, but you want to put in a little hard work. I think it will definitely pay off. So the first thing you have to do is to work hard, work hard, work hard. Even if it doesn't have to do with um, education or academic in every field or in every sector that you find yourself you have to put in the hard work and the next thing to talk about is God because I believe that there is nothing you cannot attain without God many people applied for the same scholarship however I was the chosen one not because maybe the, their GPS were even higher than mine but you know I was still the one who was able to get this scholarship. So I'm really excited about that. And I believe that if you should also do the same, just attach yourself. I know some of us, when you see us, we don't look like the God type of girls. Okay, but please, we pray a lot. And so God, God, God. I mean, God has always been part of my story. But let me start checking my email because sometimes students we do not even check our emails. We do not check our emails. That's one mistake that university students make. There are so many opportunities, so many opportunities that we get. Do not check. There are some people, when you even ask them that, please, when, which, when, which day are you writing your exam? I said, hey, me, I don't know. I'm waiting for the course right to come and post it in the group. My dear, at this point, if you are still watching, Oh my God, we are the best. If you've gotten any opportunity, either um, representing a school, doing, being on a project or something, through checking your student emails or just being active as a student, leave a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe my videos. Don't forget to share my video. Thank you so much and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!